All right, it's been quite a while since I last did a What's in the Box from Japan episode. And today is a little bit different, I'll explain that in a second. Um, but yeah, if you've not seen the videos before, basically I order a ton of stuff from Japan. Um, and they're, they're usually items, like smaller items, I wouldn't do a, a single video on for each of them. And I just kind of lump them into one thing, so kind of like a whole video, as it were. Um, now, obviously, because there's a particular global pandemic going on at the moment, and we're all kind of stuck indoors, um, shipping from Japan is a bit more difficult. Um, and there's like extra tax and import fees and stuff. So I've kind of technically cheaped out here, and I've ordered something from the UK, but they ordered it from Japan, so I kind of... I kind of did it correctly, uh, and today we have it from Dekai Anime, who used to be Anime UK, um, or Anime UK, who I think I mentioned in a previous video, I can't remember. But anyway, they had a sale on um, with like a ton of stuff. So I bought a ton of stuff because I wanted to treat myself, basically. And as you'll see, a few of these things are kind of going to be household items that I can kind of put around the house. So I'm going to... Um, Peel off all this tape and I'll be right back. All right, I've torn into that fragile tape. Um, I'm actually trying to think. I don't think there are many fragile items in here, but what? Oh, hang on. I think this might be my receipt. BRB. All right, that is indeed an itemized bill, but I would just like to show you guys I did spend £49.22. So when I said I wanted to treat myself, I wanted to treat myself. Um, I mean, it's not the largest amount of money I've ever spent, but hey. Um, there's also other... Ooh. Ooh, right, okay, yeah. So they've rebranded, um, and this is their mascot, and I can't remember... Hoshi... Is it, is it uh, Hoshi-chan or something? I can't remember. Um, but this is a sticker, Dekai Anime, very cute. Um, yeah, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Well, when I do, we'll put it at the bottom there. Uh, they're, they're a pretty decent site. I, I might leave a link or something at the bottom. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, right, okay, cool. This is the kind of um, advert for their store as well, DekaiAnime.co.uk, or is it .com? Um, no, it is .com. Okay, cool. So if you want to check that out i guess um obviously their sale has ended now but yeah that's that's cool thank you deck anime very very nice uh oh and there's lots of paper packaging oh well a little bit okay no there is a lot actually uh oh right okay so th there's a lot going here now there's no particular theme going on these are just little items i've kind of seen around the place so I'm not going for anything in particular. Okay, let, let's start with this. Now this is a gachapon. Ah, so I just bought a blind gachapon, you're thinking. No. Um, so they, they have particular things in stock. So usually when it's a gachapon thing, they'll list each of the items. So, you know, for example, if it's a Pokemon thing, they'll list, you know, Pikachu, Eevee or whatever, and you click from the drop down and choose which one you want, which is which is nice, you know, because otherwise you could end up spending quite a bit and not getting anything you want. But that is how Gachapon works, so, you know. Anyway, this is actually a Pokemon-themed one. Um, hang on, BRB. Hey, there we are. Sorry, that was really difficult to open for some reason. Now, I'm going to show you guys the, um, the little leaflet before I show you what it is. Uh, I do obviously know what all of these things are, because I ordered them. Uh, oh, it's upside down. Now, this is the Autumn Collection, I believe. Uh, and it's kind of Autumn-themed collection of Pokemon things. Now, can you guys guess which one I got? Did I... Oh, my God. Whimsicott. Was it Whimsicott? Ditto. Pikachu. Tuffle. Or Psyduck. Uh, I'll let you guess. Okay, guessing is over. Did you guess correctly? Um, well, if you guessed Ditto then you are correct. Let me just slide him out of his imprisonment. Eee, there we go. So this is a very cute Ditto figure of him holding on to a leaf, uh, an autumnal leaf, which is appropriate because it is June now and it's a well off. Basically, I really like Ditto. Um, I don't have enough Ditto figures or anything. It is very small and I did pay like £5 or something for this, so 
it wasn't cheap or anything, um, but I don't know, I, I quite liked how just like odd and very specific it is and stuff. I do have another Ditto figure, along with the Ditto Pikachu figure, which I did in a previous What in the Box on Japan episode. So if you want to check that out, I may leave a link to the playlist or something at the end here. Anyway, let's close this up. Uh, and let's grab the next thing, which is this. Oh, hey, there we are. Cool. So, following on from the uh, monster kind of things, we have a Digimon folding sign. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. Basically, I'll unpack it. I'll be right back. All right. So, uh, as you can see, this is a Digimon Troy themed sandwich board, um, and it's got the Digimon Troy logo at the back. It's also got a keychain, which is very annoying. I might take this off as soon as I get the chance. But a sandwich board, obviously, is one of those sign things you see like um, near shops and stuff. Um, and yeah, this is just very weird. But I kind of wanted it because it's got some pretty cool artwork. Uh, and I, I quite like the Digimon Tri movies. I've only seen the first four, actually. I need to watch the last two. But, um, yeah, I don't know. The, like, the artwork for this is fantastic. And whilst I'd have preferred a poster or something, those days are long gone because these were released quite some time ago. Um, sorry, the movies were and stuff. So I thought this is the next best thing. And I can put it next to my, like, Digimon figures and stuff. Um, the back, obviously, is a little bit plain, but... You'd only display a sandwich board on one side anyway, really. Yeah, so um, it's a bit of a weird one as well. I was like, ooh, you don't get sandwich boards every day. You can put that next to an Android or something for scale. And yeah, um, you know, just something really simple. I'm going to heighten my camera for a second. All right, I did that because I do have some larger items uh, coming. Ah, hey, now these, I'll wait till the end to open. But um, these are One Piece Movie Gold Trading Card Bubblegum Packs. Basically, as with my last um, video, I'm not super into One Piece, and I haven't watched much of it, but I do quite like One Piece, if that makes sense. I like all the character designs and stuff. And I saw these. Basically, it is a pack with two random trading cards from the One Piece Gold movie and a bit of bubblegum. Um, and I think there's like nine cards to collect or something. There we are, that's an example of the artwork. I just really like the artwork and stuff, and I do intend to watch One Piece anyway. And I thought, well, if I don't grab these now, I'm probably never going to get the chance to again. Um, I don't know what the cards are going to be or whatever, but these are fairly cheap. So stick around to the end, and I'll be opening these up. Uh, this is kind of like the unboxing part, and then I'll show you guys the rest later. So, aha! Next up, this is going to be big. Hang on, okay. Next up, can you guess what what property this is from? I'll give you a hint. Read the words. Um, right, I'm going to have to change my camera angle quite a bit for a second. I'll be right back. Thankfully, I've got quite a big table. Um, so this is indeed a t-shirt, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm just going to open it up. And this is a large, so I am... Um, Sincerely hoping this fits me well and isn't kind of like Asian large because um, if you order clothes from abroad Generally speaking they do tend to be a bit smaller and I've just looked at the label and this is indeed in Kana Right, this is gonna be interesting. Anyway, I'll show you guys That is the design of the t-shirt. Unfortunately, I can't get all of it in But that is darn like darn cool um, Yeah, I so I, I'm going to make an upcoming video, actually. Here's a little bit of a hint. I'm going to make a video of my favourite anime soon. Um, and Cowboy Bebop is easily in that top, top, like, ten. Um, Cowboy Bebop is just... It, it transcends anime. It transcends everything, to be honest. It, it's just one of my favourite pieces of art. Full stop. Um, and this T-shirt is pretty cool. Now... Really, um, you know, I'd have preferred maybe either just like Spike on his own or a silhouette of Spike or maybe the swordfish. That would have been cool, just like a subtle thing. However, this is pretty awesome as it is. Um, so, there's not much more to say on, about it. I'm going to go try it on um, and I might even get a picture of myself wearing it just so you guys can see how it fits. Not that anyone really cares um but yeah i'll stick around for that i'll see you guys in a second can't see my face but this does indeed fit well back to the video 
All right, so yeah, that, that fit pretty well, actually. Uh, I'm going to try and fold it not very nicely. That was terrible. What am I doing? I'm just going to put it to the side there. Sorry, Ditto, you got caught up in all this. And I'm going to bring the box forward. So I think, hey, I think this is the last. Yeah, cool. And chuck this back there. So we have one last package. What could it be? Sorry for those for the sensitive ears. Actually, I'm going to unpack this because this is going to become very difficult to listen to. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. So we have, uh, you guys might have seen the front one actually through the bubble wrap. I don't know how well that came out on camera, but I'll show you anyway. So I have three Shikishi arts, which are kind of, they're small uh, bits of like cardboard with some like um, artwork on them, obviously. Um, and these are actually a series I bought two of already, which I'll maybe put in a picture of the other two. But these are Pokemon Shikishi arts. Now, obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I am a massive fan of Pokemon. Um, and these are incredible. So I've bought three of them. Um, and yeah, this is just like super shiny and stuff. The artwork itself is phenomenal. Um, I'll pull this one out of its plastic wrapping. I like to keep it in the plastic wrapping because I can kind of mount it on the wall easier this way. Because um, I don't really want to buy a frame or anything. But um, yeah, there we go. That is Lugia. That is a fantastic piece of artwork. I don't know if... I feel like maybe that's inspired by the front cover of uh, Soul Silver, the DS remake of Pokemon Silver, but it could be wrong. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in the um, plastic thing. I'll be right back. Hey, there we are. Cool. So, which will be the next one? Let's go with this one. Hey, fantastic. So, the next one um, matching this is ho -Oh. Obviously, he is shiny gold. But yeah, that is very much... Actually, I don't know, man. That looks like the cover of Pokemon Gold, doesn't it? Although I never owned Heart Gold, so I don't know. Maybe the cover is different. But man, what a piece of artwork. Very uh, reminiscent of Ken Sugimori, but I don't think it's Sugimori's artwork. I think it is actually um, someone else who drew that. But yeah, these these Pokemon Shikishi um, artworks are fantastic. Oh, I just noticed. Well, sorry. Ho -ho. So that's um, that's the Romaji spelling of the um, Japanese name. Actually, what's Lugia? Lugia is indeed Lugia. Also, sorry, I was displaying it like that, kind of. Was I? No, I think no, I think I was displaying it like that. Sorry, Lugia is just Lugia. So there we go. Those two together. I thought they are perfect. I really like Lugia. I'm not as big a fan of Ho-Ho, but I thought the artworks have to go together. It'd be weird displaying one without the other, really. And these are like five pounds or something each, so they don't really break the bank. Um, and, you know, uh, they're all Gen 2, and Gen 2, um, the Johto, you know, sil Gold and Silver series were always my favourite. And to cap it off, I thought, hey, I'm in, I'm in for it anyway. Why not cap off with the rest of the legendaries. Uh, not Celebi though, I don't have a Celebi one because eh, Celebi is okay. But I thought I'd get one of the legendary dogs as well. Um, mainly because I love Entei. Entei is one of my favourite Pokemon hands down. Raikou's cool, Suicune's okay as well. Um, but yeah man, th again this piece of artwork, like all these three pieces and hopefully I've thrown in a piece of the other two artworks which is Unknown and Ampharos. Two of my other favourites from Gen 2. And yeah, just overall... Ah, oh, there we are. We'll put Ditto at the top there. That's my Pokemon haul featuring a couple other things as well. But yeah, that about wraps it up for everything that's in there. So I'm going to put everything to the side now. We'll crack open those One Piece trading cards. All right then. So we've got two packs. And these are indeed... Uh, let's see. One Piece Film Gold. Now, I know Gold came out a while ago because... Um, Actually, currently, I think Stampede, which is the newest One Piece movie, literally came out today on the day of recording, which is the 22nd of uh, June. So, Gold, I think, was the one previous or ever. I kind of, I vaguely keep up with One Piece, in a sense, because it is, it's a series that really interests me. I've just never got round to kind of 
sitting down neither reading the manga or watching the anime. Um, but you know, right, so first off, before we get into anything else, there is some chewing gum. I'm not going to eat it at the moment because I, I don't fancy it. Uh, however, I will inform you guys of how it tastes. It is weird that you think they'd maybe like add the packaging to have like the the One Piece logo or something instead of their cars. Um, cool. Okay, but uh, by you know by all means, I imagine this is going to be some super generic chewing gum. If I do eat it by the time I upload this, I'll put it at the bottom of what I thought of it. It'll probably be meh. Uh, right, and the cards. Let's go. That. Oh. Uh, Okay, well, whatever. We'll, it uh, doesn't matter which way we do it. Uh, so, the first one is, uh, hang on, is Chopper. Uh, Tony Tony Chopper, that's it, that's his name. And yeah, it, very cute bit of artwork. Um, ah, that's cool, on the back is like the silhouette. Now, they're called clear card, but I don't think they are... Ah, never mind, they are clear, kind of. So this gold pattern here, you can kind of see behind. It, it's not coming out very clear, I had to hold it up to the daylight. But yeah, there we are, there is Tony Tony Chopper from uh, One Piece Gold movie. And our second one uh, is Guild Teresoro. Um, I don't know who this is. I th he's probably a movie character, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, because I'm kind of aware of who the, you know, who the Straw Hat Pirates are, and I don't think I've seen him before, so I'm assuming he's, like, the bad guy or so or a character from the Gold movie. Um, if I'm wrong, though, let me know in the comments, because I do intend to kind of give the One Piece movies a watch, obviously, I'll, you know, when I... When I sit down and actually get into it. I kind of want to cut this one open, I think. I want to keep the pack uh, intact. So I'll be right back. Hey, there we are. Wow, that was like a surgeon. I did use a box cutter, though, so that makes sense. Uh, right, let's get the gum out of the way with the car on and stuff. Man, I my teeth are going to be active tonight. Who will we get? I'd like Luffy. I'd like Zoro. Um, I'd like a few different characters. Okay, we do not, but we do have Sanji. Uh, that is Sanji, right? Yes. Yes, we do. Man, look at that smooth dude in a white suit. Uh, he usually wears black, but then presumably the point of gold is maybe the, the it's like a resort or something? I don't know. Again, I've not seen the movie. But I, I just like, basically, I like collectible cards. Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie, that was the main thing. These are kind of cheap, and I was like, oh, wait, random card assortments? Sign me up. So yeah, there we are, that is Sanji in his white suit. I have two of the Straw Hat Pirates. Can we end on a really hype one? Maybe we can. Uh, ooh, who is this? Ray's Max. Okay, presumably another character from the movie then? Ah, is it maybe like, you know, you're guaranteed two of the like One Piece characters and then two of the movie characters maybe? Ray's Max presumably is from gold as well. That kind of sounds like a bit of a gambly dude, maybe. Uh, yeah, he's a short man in a very cool hat. Very interesting. Actually, are these numbered? Yes, they are. Uh, there we are. So he is number 24. My dude, I did not realise there were 24 cards in this set. Sanji's 14. Guild is 25. And Chopper is 15. That, man, I'm mildly tempted to buy some more packs now. I didn't realise there were so many. Um, in the preview things, I saw, like, there were nine of them. Obviously, nine of them showing off, like, the main cast. And I just assumed it was nine cards. I was like, oh, I'll probably just have, like, half the collection or something. Yo, with this amount now, hmm, I, I could buy another pack or two. If I do, I'll make another video of it. But I'll probably forget about it, and I'll re-watch this video in about three years and be like, ah, I never got round to that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's been a bit of a rambly video. There's not been any particular focus. But I thought I'd show you guys, you know, things I thought were kind of cool that I bought, that were piecemeal. Like, I'd, I'd never have done a video on any of these, unless I'd bought, like, ten packs of this. In which case, I'd have probably done a video. But yeah. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll be doing other videos in the future, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and until next time, goodbye.